Now after the Kolkata High Court stay, the withdrawal of central forces from Darjeeling on the West Bengal government's uh, request. The Union Home Ministry retorted saying that state forces are not deployed optimally. That's the reaction coming in from the centre. Uh, clearly, of course, a huge response to uh, the Mamta Banerjee government, which in fact had to approach uh, the High Court over there. Let's go across to Nikunj Garg, who's joining us for more on the story. Nikunj, very clearly, the Home Ministry is not pleased with the way forces have been used there by the state government. Well, it's a recurrent problem, Mother. Uh, the state government, you know, and this is what the caution from the MHA is going out also. They are saying that, you know, neither does the optimal utilization of the state, res state uh, police forces happen, nor do the states optimally use the India Reserve battalions which they already have and 75% of their expenditure is borne by the Ministry of Affairs. Even they are not optimally used, but the state governments have gotten into a tendency where at the drop of hat they will ask for the central armed police forces to be deployed. Now, the deployment is not a very easy task, particularly in the far-flung areas like Darjeeling and uh, the, the logistics of the deployment itself is a very tedious task arrangement uh, congregation and then deployment and then even when the forces are put at the disposal of state government those forces are not adequately utilized as uh, the ministry of Home affairs has noticed in multiple cases so now they have advised the state government that they must form a specialized committee the committee must have the local representation from the local IB officials and the state government must have a dedicated officer at the rank of the additional DG in that. And they must, they must, you know, give out the requirement very clearly, both in terms of quantum and in terms of placement and the exact number of requirement of the forces and the time period for which they are looking at. Because right now what happens is, you know, the state government will send a one random request. We need 20 companies of central armed police forces without backing it with any logic or the rationale uh, behind the deployment process. So which puts, you know, immense burden on the central armed police forces and at, at the level of the Ministry of Affairs, as the nodal ministry also, it they come under tremendous pressure because there are, you know, it's not just one state government asking for central troops. Uh, multiple demands of the multiple state governments are raised on an almost everyday basis. And it becomes very difficult for the state uh, Ministry of Affairs to dis uh, please one state government and not displease other because these are conflicting claims and they all have to be rationalized and in between the continually happening election process also in which the election commission raises the demand it's a constitutional right. body neither can it be ignored so these are these are things that absolutely in fact uh, Yes, yes, Nikonj. In fact, a very significant uh, statement coming in there from the Union Ministry of Home Affairs about uh, state governments not being able to use the forces deployed there optimally in West Bengal. Thank you so much for bringing us that report.